Hey guys, Chris here with Cutting on the Bayou. I uh, just want to do a little venting. This isn't, you know, a video I'm going to be editing. I'm just throwing it right on YouTube. So, um, I, I know I've, I've actually talked to, not really talked, but I've, I've seen some videos on people, you know, yes. telling you not to do any um, bidding, you know, sight unseen. And unfortunately, I've had to do that since I've, live about 50 miles away from where my clientele usually are um but now that i've moved here you know i'm closer i can go out and do bids but anyway i've done you know three sight unseen bids and totally under bidding them two leaf jobs and a lawn job um and i really i i, I did it by google maps you know i, I know a lot of y'all use yard book and um, I used the yard book to see how big it was, how many trees and, and, and so, you know, whatnot. But, you know, I thought I priced the leaf job pretty close, but when I got there, um, the customer hadn't looked like they picked up any leaves throughout the whole season, throughout the whole, you know, leaf season. And, um, I really didn't anticipate that. And now I, I don't have they want it picked up and 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 taken off and normally what i do is i mulch it and you know my mulching kit does really well with taking care of you know the, the you know really throwing it and poofing it up and making it into dust but uh they wanted it taken away and i tell you it has to be about six inches thick of leaves big you know they got oaks maples uh, curt maples uh, crepe myrtles, I mean, and um, it's it was a lot of leaves, and um, you know all all the the client did was just blow, you know, basically into a pile, and you know as the the leaf season has been gone, they wanted to pick up one time. Well, I definitely underbitted that. Uh, same thing with another leaf job I did. I just did it by the square footage of the yard, and I, I figured I had it done right, but I need to go rent. A leaf vacuum to try to take care of that because I don't have a vacuum on my mower or anything like that but anyway and the other yard that I was supposed to cut just sight unseen it was a pond basically back in their backyard and it hasn't been cut in a good two months um, but yeah so Word of advice, which I should have taken from other YouTubers, uh, lawn guys, and hopefully I pass this on to y'all. Don't bid sight unseen. And if you do, make sure you tell them, hey, this is just an estimate. Prices may change if I come out there and something's different. You know, make sure that's clear to, that you communicate that to them. And other than that, um, that was my event for today. And say hey Ella hey okay so right now we're just chilling at home so uh, during the move I couldn't edit any videos so right now like I said I'm just doing hey. these just straight from my iPad onto YouTube so Chris here cut on a bayou peace